welcome back to my channel this piece was created in memory of abuelo or grandpa as we call him it's going to be an ocean art piece as you saw in the beginning and this is my my board it's a two by four and i'm putting my base color on because i really want my colors to pop um i think i went overboard with the paint so i had to push some of it right over the edge and as i was doing this i also realized that i forgot to put my frog tape on the back so i will have to do some sanding after i'm done with this so here i'm using a whole bunch of acrylic paints i just went from light to dark i picked all the blues that i had because i really wanted it to pop to give that nice beautiful color and depthness so i just kept painting until i kind of feel comfortable with it but here it's looking absolutely beautiful of course i let it dry as well here is abuelo's ashes i wanted to incorporate this in the piece so i'm putting his ashes in the sand mixing it up and of course adding the resin so here we are i combined his ashes with the resin um everybody has their way to honor and remember those that have passed on and this is my way of honoring abuelo his dream was to retire and have some airbnbs and he had asked me to do ocean theme for the countertops and for the bathroom and unfortunately we didn't be able we weren't able to do that but i wanted to create this in memory of him because that's what he wanted me to do so i mixed it up very well here i'm taking my time putting it down again remember resin is self-leveling so even though you see me kind of spreading it around it will self-level and um come out really nicely so you don't have to oversaturate it so i just did different section and just kind of watch it spread out and fill in the areas that needed it to be fill in i also put a little bit of regular sand just with my fingertips and spread it around too to give it a little bit of a texture so it wasn't so smooth this board also is not leveled i have it um elevated a little bit where the sand level is because once i start putting my ocean waves i want them to flow back towards the back and probably go off the the back of the board but just to stretch them out and you'll see here when i put my first wave down which i forgot to record my apologies um but this first wave you'll see so i did let this sit and dry and came back the next day here you see how that you have that big gap there i wasn't really worried about how it looked but it did stretch out a little bit and I'm putting resin down here. When I put this resin down, because I put the acrylic paint, I just added a little bit of alcohol ink. So it gives it more depth, but it looks very, very pretty. You can see how rich this color is already. Please know that in between this thing is going so fast that you couldn't even see me. I blow torched it, blow torched it, made sure I got all the bubbles out. I didn't go overboard with it because of course I'm putting more layers. Now here I decided to put a little bit of mica powder. Oh, I do not like this color whatsoever. So I added some blue on top of it and kind of pushed that color away. And here again, I'm putting my other ocean wave. It looks really, really nice. And see how it's kind of going back towards the back. You can still see I have a little turtle over there to the side. So here I'm doing another wave. So I'm making different layers of waves and the side view is really, really pretty. So here again, I just put alcohol ink and you see how it's kind of flowing towards the back. That's what I wanted. So that way it looks like the ocean's coming in. And here you see how beautiful this looks. You see the texture on the sand, but it looks so, so beautiful. I did not like the way the waves came out here so i did add another layer to fix those waves the three seashells in the beginning that represents his three children and there's the turtle looks so beautiful and see how the waves look like they're just gliding in that came out so so nice and again it's a lot because i tilted my board up a little bit um, where the sand is so it can push back towards the back but look how pretty and this is just for me it was just an honor to do this in his memory and to see something so beautiful i just love it and remember in the beginning i told you i forgot to put that frog tape so yeah i made this a little bit harder on myself so i have my orbital sander and i used two different grits i did the 80 and i think to 220 
um but this is all the edges and i didn't show that i usually use my heat i did use my heat gun first and then i sanded it kind of makes it a little bit better so here sanding it down i did sand it down a little bit more you always have the option of painting the back of your board if you're worried about what it looks like there and there's one place that i went super i was super happy with this orbital sander it's just like you get into it when you start sanding it's like mm, anyway yeah you start getting into it and there's an area that i went a little bit overboard but it was okay i kind of just i just kind of left it i think it's coming up here you'll see it right here i was like oh darn it but it's it's okay but all of it came out it looks really nice and also you see i already put the z hanger on so this is how it looks look at the depthness oh my gosh these colors are just amazing they're beautiful and i just smile you know thinking of abuelo that i made this you know in memory of him it's a way for us to see it smile here i'm outside you can kind of see me there but look how the waves are and here's a side view you look it looks like you're at the ocean beautiful beautiful there's my little seashell very very beautiful i love it love it love it these are just different angles from inside some of them are outside but this is what it looks like i truly truly love this piece and it just melts my heart seeing it but again i did give it to his daughter and here is a picture of abuelo love you love you to the moon and back thank you for watching